guys I'm back with another video uh, this time it's an unboxing video I guess it's an unboxing video I've already unboxed it I guess it's really not an, a full unboxing video but I wanted to show you guys some things that I got off my wish list so I posted a wish list for my birthday my birthday is May 30th and I will be 33 we have a lot of birthdays in May my my birthday is May 30th my dad's was May 31st he passed away in 2018 but his is a day after mine so we used to celebrate our birthdays like kind of together because the family was always you know already there for my birthday so we used to have joint parties all the time and my mom's is May 14th and surprisingly my mother-in-law's is also May 14th so we have some May birthdays this month um, but I made a wish list not only is that for friends on YouTube um, creator friends subscribers whoever but I also made that for personal friends, personal family. It's literally my wish list for everybody. Um, and so I just put a couple things on the list and figured if anyone wanted to buy anything, they could. They didn't have to. I'm, you know, I'm always giving back to people. And I just, I, my love language is giving. And even if it's a dollar on somebody's video or, you know, a super chat or a super sticker, that's just what I do. So I just figured if anyone else wanted to do the same for me, that I would put the link in my community tab. Did I think anyone was going to buy me anything? Absolutely not. I did not think anyone's going to buy me anything, and that was okay because, you know, I don't need gifts. It's nice to get gifts, though. Um, so I got something in the mail. I wasn't expecting a package, so I was just like, what is this? And I got, for one, here's the notes. I'm going to show you guys the little, little gifts note. Um, it says, happy birthday, my friend, from Anne. It's a little gift receipt. And I was like, I only know one Anne. One Anne in my life, and that is Just Anne. In Just Anne's world, she's a YouTuber, and she's also became a really good friend to me. She's been there for me. Um, you know, if I've ever needed her, if I've ever needed to talk or reach out, she's just been a great person to talk to. And I enjoy her videos and her beauty channel and her walk and talks and she's actually inspired me to go outside and walk more and get some exercise and um, take care of my health because I deserve a need to be here for my family and to be on this planet and so I started vlogging as you all know I vlog out back of my apartment um, I vlog and just kind of talk about life and my life goals and journey of losing weight and I've lost uh, 12 pounds already and it's not a whole lot but it's an accomplishment so every every day I just thank God that I'm still alive that I'm here and I thank Anne for inspiring me to, to vlog and talk and just talk about my health and advocate for people um, for their health journeys and to take care of yourself and to go get you know your heart checked out and to you know just just do those things for yourself and so she's been a very good friend to me and I'm already getting teary because I was in tears when I got this package um I filmed myself like as soon as I opened it like a real reaction and I was in tears and I'm gonna interject that in this video so I just got a package in the mail I know I look horrible I've been crying because I've been so thankful um, to get a package like people don't know how truly blessed and thankful I am for anyone to get me anything off my list I'm tell I'm gonna show this because I look a hot mess, but I want to show the true Authentic reaction that I've been crying for 10 minutes. Even my daughter. I was like, it's a happy cry But I'm crying and she's like someone did something nice in the world like you know because my kids know all the mean, like, nastiness that I've had to deal with with the internet. And the internet in general is mean. It's a mean place sometimes. And I have suffered from that. And, it, and like, my family knows personally. My kids have seen it. My kids have seen me. And my husband has, and my mom has seen me break down from the nastiness that I've had to deal with. And with being on YouTube, things, people have done things to me that I didn't deserve, that I've never done to people. And to get a package in the mail for my birthday and to have someone message me and say, hey, did you get that package? I didn't even look at my door because I truly wasn't expecting anything. And I have a great friend. Her name is Anne, and I'm going to tag her channel below. 
who sent me something. I'm not going to post this yet because I want all my true authentic reactions and stuff to things um, little by little throughout the month. And then I'm going to piece it together. Um, but this was on my wish list. It's a little marshmallow. The tag says that he's a marshfellow. So his name is Marshfellow. And I just absolutely adore it. I have a cheeseburger named Carl. I know I'm thir I'll be 33 on May 30th. And me collecting these plushies to some may be silly. Um, but it's just a passion of mine. And I don't make fun of people. If you are obsessed with a movie or a TV show or whatever, or you collect Beanie Babies or whatever you do, I don't care. I live your life. I love it and respect it. And so I collect unique, weird plushies. Some food plushies like marshmallows, hot dogs, cheeseburgers. And my friend Anne got me this marshmallow that's been on my wish list for years. Literally years I've been wanting this marshmallow plushie. Um, and she says that there's something coming for me in a couple days. So I'm going to make another little video. Um, and I will show what that is. I don't know what it is. I made sure that I made my wish list and things are coming off my wish list. But I honestly don't remember what. I even add it because I'd added it one morning when I wasn't like I was bored. Um, so I can't wait to see what else comes. As always, no one has to get me anything. I never ever ask for anything. I'm always trying to give back. And even if it's my last dollar, there have been times that like I've wanted to get things from people's wish lists. And God's honest truth, even though like my husband makes really good money, um, we just have a lot of bills. So I'm like checking credit cards and like how can I help this person? How can I help them? Like, how can I donate to this cause? And that is me. That is always me. And I don't tell people often how much I truly donate and give to people, even if it's my last few dollars, because I feel that I don't, I don't need to have to tell the world. People that are close to me know how much I actually donate and care. And so it, it's really nice, um, when, um, you know, someone thinks about you it's amazing. I don't, I don't like people thinking about me. And for once I said, you know, I, d I deserve somebody to think about me, you know? And so, and thank you again. I truly appreciate it. I cannot believe I'm on camera after I've ugly cried for 10 minutes, but I am truly, truly thankful for this gift. I was in tears because I have received a lot of hate on this platform and on TikTok. And, you know, most of it just had to do with superficial stuff like my weight and, um, you know, all, all of the like harmful things mentally that you could, you know, happen to somebody happened to me, you know, and I struggled with that. And I was like, there's a lot of mean people in the world. People aren't nice. People are mean. And I was like, um, you know, struggled with mental health and not wanting to be here because I just thought that I was um, a waste of space. And then I became friends with some amazing creators, amazing women that have went through some stuff and um, were there for each other. And I am thankful because I don't know if I would have been here had I not met these amazing women and I can't not cry because it's my true feelings and it was a wake-up call to think about my content and how my content could affect someone else's mental health and so I stopped being mean and nasty to mommy bloggers and despite me um Despite me not agreeing with putting people's kids online, I want to advocate for children and I want to protect kids, but I had to take a step back of my content and realize that my content was harmful to people and harmful to other families and children. And so I've changed my ways and I thank these women for building this amazing path of you don't have to be a bully on YouTube. You don't have to be mean on TikTok. And we can uplift everyone and be there for everyone. And Anne did not have to get me something from my wish list. She didn't. She did it out of the kindness of her heart. And that act of kindness, literally, I feel saved me. And I just feel like if everyone in the world 
pays it forward and does something nice for somebody that we would literally have such a happier life and such a happier place. So enough with me and my little sadness, but she truly is an amazing person. And all of these women that I talk to are amazing. My subscribers, you all are amazing. And I just hope that I can inspire others like Anne has inspired me, like these other women have inspired me to pay it forward, to be kind and to watch what you say to other people. Sorry, I got sidetracked. You know me. I go on a tangent, but it needed to be said how much uh, Anne has impacted my life. Um, so this is Marshfellow, little Marshfellow. Um, I had him on my wish list. He's like a stuffy, like little stuff plushy squishy thing he's got little feels like little hard uh pads in his feet um just little circles i think so he could stand up better but the tag um i'll read the tag so this is the little tag that came with it it literally says marsh fellow and this is the little story you get like a little story on the tag so it says cute and cuddly the marsh fellows live in a marshmallowy world on the verge of being s'mored by the chocolate and graham cracker kingdoms. Marshfellows are huggable, lovable plush toys perfect for cuddling. And I kid you not, I got, the, got Marshfellow, was in tears. So I absolutely love him and my family loves him. And so his name is Marshfellow Abbott. Um, so yeah, that came and then she reached out to me and said something else is coming. I was like, something else? Like, I don't need any more. Like, I was just literally thankful for Marshfellow Abbott. So, I believe it was yesterday. Um, yeah, I think it was Thursday. Today's Friday. Um, that I got this book. This was also on my wish list. It is called The Big Book of Serial Killers. Psycho Killer. It is such a nice book. Um, it's a hardback. Love that. And it's got, I thought this was really neat. So it's got a table of contacts. So you can look, sorry, I'm in the front of my microphone. You can look for the serial killer that you're looking for. It tells you the page that they're in, but literally like hundreds. It's got hundreds of serial killers. And I think that's really neat because it will tell you, um, like, it's like a little sketch of them. There's no colored pictures, but it's like a sketch of the person. And it will tell you their date of birth, any aliases. Like, this one was the Dallas Ripper. His name was Charles Albright. Um, that he removed the victim's eyes. That was his characteristic. That his number of victims were three. Date of murder is December of 1990 to March of 1991. Um, date of arrest was March 22nd, 1991. Murder method shooting, known victim Shirley Williams, Mary Lou Pratt, and Susan Peterson. Crime location was Texas. And his status was sen sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. And it tells you, like, the background of the person. Um, the background. What else? Arrest and trial. The murders. Like, information about how, like, the certain murders, specific people. The outcome and some trivia. Like, trivia to this guy was he removed the eyes from his victims, all of whom were prostitutes. So, a little trivia um, for each serial killer. So, I absolutely love this. I love, <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like my happy, bubbly personality would like something about serial killers. I used to be gothic. I think we know that by now. Um, if not, I'll uh, try to interject a photo of me when I was, um, I want to say 14 to 16, because I was 14 when I got my lip pierced. So I did that and then flipped it to like preppy Laguna Beach. That was just my personality. I literally have two personalities. I always have spooky and happy and preppy, what, whatever you want to say, spooky and preppy, happy and darkness. But that's just me. So this was like awesome. I absolutely love it. It literally caters to my two personalities. Um, marshmallow, cute, <laughs> snuggly, plushy, and like a dark book about serial killers. So, Anne, from the bottom of my heart, you have been an amazing friend. Um, I tell you all the time. And, and, like, I always tell my mom, I tell you this. My mom absolutely loves Anne's videos. She loves them, loves them. Um, she is very thankful that Anne's been here for me through my YouTube journey. 
you know, as a mom, it's been hard for her to ignore some of the things that I went through, but she knows it's for the best. I'm not bothered by it as far as needing to talk about it or make videos or, or anything. It, it was hard. It did mentally affect me, but I'm trying to get past it. I just wish people would let me get past it, but it's okay. Um, but my mom loves Anne, and she's just thankful that Anne's been, like, someone that I could talk to. And she loves her videos, and I love Anne's videos. So, um, yeah, thank you for this. And now that Anne's gotten me the serial killer book, what I'm going to do is maybe start making videos. Maybe once a week, I'm going to read about a serial killer, and I'm going to make a video about them. And we're going to read the book, and I don't know how I'm going to format it, um, but maybe do some little clips here and there and show pictures of the person um and we're gonna like report about a serial killer each week so and thank you again um i i don't know how much more to thank you i just if i could hug you in person i would um you're not that far from me so maybe one day we can like meet up and hang out um i would love that so yeah that was the two gifts that i got from Anne. and if anyone else sends me anything i don't need it it's just nice to get gifts. Um, you know, my list, I'll try to reshare it again because I'm sure it's been buried on my status as my good morning post. Um, I will reshare my wish list again if anyone is like wants to get anything or are curious about it. Um, my birthday's not until May 30th, so you still have time. Even if I got things late, that's okay. But I will make a video just like this one uh, when and if you guys get me anything else. Um, I just hope everyone has a great day. I'm going to make another video. We're going to talk about Tara's nails that she sent me. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And just remember, be kind. Be nice to people. If you don't have anything else to, like, nice to say to somebody, just move on. Just ignore them. Let it go. It's not worth your stress. And it's not worth somebody else's mental health. Have a great day, guys.